on the heels of the unveiling of the Economic Recovery and Resilience Plan for St. Lucia, Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, the Honorable Alan Chasney, has been lauded by Caribbean economist and advisor Mala Dukaran for the growth path outlined for the island as the region prepares to emerge from COVID-19. Caribbean economist and advisor Marla Dukaran spoke to the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, the Honorable Alan Chasney, in a sit-down interview dubbed St. Lucia in a post-COVID world. The Prime Minister discussed the many measures implemented by St. Lucia in an effort to battle the COVID-19 pandemic. He explained that tough decisions had to be made as the country battled both health and economic crises simultaneously. It soon became clear that St. Lucia would not be able to achieve the estimated growth predicted for the island for 2020. Instead, government was now faced with the reality of having to borrow to keep the economy afloat. Honorable Chastney indicated that he was not fond of having to borrow to service debt, having recently attained a 59% debt-to-GDP ratio, a figure below the 60% benchmark set by the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB. However, Caribbean economist Mala Dukaran had some insight to share. Whether or not you borrow a cent, your debt-to-GDP ratio is going to go up because the economy is contracting, so your numerator is getting smaller. But in your case, and in most countries' cases, the numerator is also getting bigger. Um, congratulations on achieving this, the 59% pre-COVID. And I know that the, e, the ECCU has this goal of everybody coming um, at or below 60% debt to GDP. I feel like you ought not to worry too much, Prime Minister, right now about debt to GDP, because you really it's really about keeping your, your economy uh, um, stable and keeping people healthy and and in productive um in, in in you know productive in some way so i feel like now is not the time for us to have these traditional um anxieties and uh, around debt to gdp we could let that go for now the prime minister also discussed revenue generating initiatives undertaken by the government such as the citizenship by investment program cip Having been one of the last countries to commence the program, Honorable Chastney explained that the government did not want to compete on price, but instead was looking to differentiate the product. So we put in what we thought was the competitive price, sadly, which is $100,000, um, and focused on the products and also said that we were going to have a very stringent due diligence program. Uh, and I'm very proud of the fact that, that that's exactly what we achieved. So how do we differentiate the product is to go after high net worth individuals. So okay. one, um, offering the, the headquarters. So a person now can get become a citizen in St. Lucia, open up a headquarters, um, and is, uh, is both a citizen and shows that he has a business in St. Lucia. So it doesn't right. seem like he's just carrying a passport for a passport's sake. Um, the other one is that we're in the process of creating a residency program. So that fact, a person can either purchase real estate in St. Lucia through the CIP right. program um, and now um, uh, pay taxes of about $35,000 a year. So again, now a person can say, I have a residence in St. Lucia, I have a business in St. Lucia, I pay personal income taxes in St. Lucia. So it gives them the substance when they're going around the world. So St. Lucia is not going into the volume game. Um, what we're going into is quality um, right. and trying to go after individuals of high net worth and that they're going to bring their friends here. The government of St. Lucia remains committed to providing aid to all those negatively impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic and the continued development of St. Lucia.